Oh, I've missed you. My beautiful Fit8, I have missed you. When I owned my CrossFit gyms, I was addicted to Fit8. I drank away any profit that I would ever make. In fact, at my gym and my office, I built this Fit8 wall. I'll drop some footage in here now if I can find it. I've got about 30 cans back there. I'm gonna put on right now. Man, there is nothing better than an icy cold Fit Aid after a workout. Let me know if you're a Fit Aid drinker. Drop it in the comments below. So, Fit Aid, thank you for those. I'm looking forward to getting back on it. What is up, you sexy beasts? Hope you guys are having a fantastic week. My back has never been this sore. After 21.1, my back is just wound up, man. It's, it's a dull, a continuous dull pain that just won't subside. But uh, oh, hopefully it goes before this Friday. Hey, fun fact. I drink, I started off drinking flat whites with just dairy, normal milk, like normal full cream milk. Then I switched to almond milk over the last two or three years, I've been drinking almond milk flat whites. Today I thought, it's nice and warm outside. I've never ever tried a black coffee on ice. Why not try just the iced coffee? No milk. Honestly, I don't mind it. I might even consider making the switch to iced black coffees. So over the last two months, I've been doing the specific open prep program from HWPO. Now that the open has started, I can finally get back on track with just the normal, the normal long-term focus HWPO programming, which I love. And uh, that's what we're doing right now. We're going outside to train. Just gonna pop that bad boy in there for later. Icy cold fit out, I can't wait. This is great. This is great. The neighbors are doing the lawn, so um, good timing for making a video, you know? I hate to drain the whole pool because our garden washed into the pool and it was all muddy, so still got to sort that out. Have you guys heard of this company, Tidal Sport? I believe it's uh, Conor McGregor's company. They sent me this to try out, and uh, it's good timing because my lower back, as I said, is fried, and this stuff is supposed to be relieving. Plant powered cryo relief, cryotherapy. If you guys have any idea what cryotherapy is, let me know, because I don't know, but I'm all for relief today, so. Ooh, ooh it feels nice and icy on the back though, I'll tell you that much. Okay, today's workout is uh, five rounds. We're gonna do 25 calories on the rower, then one legless row climb. After those five rounds, we're resting for three minutes. Then we do four rounds of 20 calories on the rower and one legless row climb. So all up, nine rounds. I've got the rope here, but the rower is in the garage, so I'll go get that. Don't know if you guys can see that, but I've got a crew of boys here. They're doing a new wall for us, some new drainage and concreting. So uh, once that's all done, I'm thinking of maybe doing a ramp or a staircase of some sort in the back corner here. That way I can row or cycle in the garage, just run down the side of the house, up the stairs, into the back gym. And that should solve this problem of carrying the rower. Get the knee sleeve on the shin for the rope climbs. Going for the rich fronies today. Such an influencer, eh? Such an influencer. All the gear, absolutely no idea. Okay, let's go. That's a five round done. I forgot the charge these so they died on me. Dang it. Oh my goodness. What did they put in there? So damn good. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Tidal Sport. So I got sent this yesterday and I applied it last night and to be honest other than a really nice cooling effect like cooling sensation I couldn't really notice any difference in the low back pain I had the muscular pain but then today before the workout I put some on again and then did a bunch of rowing obviously so it's probably a combination of this and the row my back feels amazing right now after rowing 
Um, obviously it's warmed up, there's blood flowing through there. Um, so it's hard to know with these products um, how much of an effect they actually have, but I do enjoy that nice icy cool feeling after spraying it on. So I thought I'd just do a bit more reading up on it and see what it actually does. Okay, so I thought this was just meant to take the pain away temporarily, but it says here that Tidal products are formulated to take it a step further and promote long-term healing. Okay, so basically it's a plant-based product that gets absorbed into the body. It reduces inflammation, which then in turn reduces pain. Obviously, there's many cooling and warming products on the market. What these guys reckon makes their product different is the plant derivatives that they use um, has shown to reduce inflammation. So rather than just cooling or warming the area, it actually gets absorbed into the muscle and reduces inflammation. And that's where the long-term benefits come from. Hey. I'm always happy to try new products and give my feedback, so uh, Tidal Sport, thank you for sending that through and I'll keep using it. And if anything, I do enjoy the cooling effect when you spray it on, so I'll report back more. Okay, afternoon session with the boys. We've got Mikey and Zach here. <laughs> They're going to give 22.1 a go, so uh, that should be entertaining. You ready, Zachy boy? Let's go, bro. <laughs> He's on in 10. I'm, I'm just going to sit on the bike and enjoy the show. Last five, let's go. Hey. Let's go, let's go up. We've got 20 seconds. Up, up, up. Let's go. Bro, you got five more. Let's go. 15 seconds. Go. Go, Zach. Good. Four more. Let's go. Go. Drive it up. Drive it up. Three. Three more. Come on. Drive it up. Five seconds. Two more. Go. Drive it, mate. Go. Let's go, One more. Go. Let's go. Yeah, boy. We'll give it to you. Five rounds, good job bro, you deserve oh, a little fit AD. <laughs> Sexy beast. Look at the nervous pacing over here though. <laughs> pacing around. <laughs> How many rounds bro? Three bro. <laughs> ah. No, I'm gonna go for five. I'll five go rounds. for five. Yes. You don't need to talk bro. I don't need to talk. <laughs> Man. Oh, 30 seconds left. Get back on the floor. Let's go. You got 20 seconds left. Knock one out. Knock one. one out. Knock one out. Just cross the bro. Good work. Beautiful. Look at that. Last time. Three, two, one. Good bro. Six. Six plus one. And leaving me hanging. Nice. <laughs> You deserve one of these, bro. Oh, thanks, brother. Okay. We probably don't deserve them, but we'll have one anyway. <laughs> okay, that's uh, 22.1 done. Now we're going to put these boys through 22.1B. See how they handle the ice bath. <laughs> Still no good, bro. Oh, man. It's only at 12 degrees, so uh, just easing the boys into it. Acting tough, bro, or is it actually easy for you? Nah, I don't know. <laughs> I can't feel anything now. Give me some breathing techniques. <laughs> You guys want to see Spike eat a? Uh... Here you go, buddy. Here's a cricket. You get it. Oh, is that yum? How cool is he? Eh? You're the man, Spikey. You're the man. What a little champ, eh? What a little champ. Come on. So there you go, tribe. Hope you enjoyed that vlog. Today is Thursday, so that means that tomorrow morning here in Australia, 22.2 gets released, and I'm going to do it pretty early tomorrow morning after it gets released, which would be good. So I'll, uh, I'll document that and get it out to you. And then, who knows, maybe I'll do a redo on Sunday or Monday if I'm up for it. Tomorrow we have Saxon Panchik going head to head with Justin Medeiros. And then we have Laura Horvath going head to head with Emma Lawson. I saw the CrossFit Games release their little hint or their little teaser. And it looks to me like a close up shot of like a barbell knurling. So 
I think tomorrow we'll see the barbell. I originally thought that we wouldn't see the heavy barbell test until week three of the Open. And especially when I saw the matchup between Laura and Emma, I was like, they're not going to let someone like Laura, you know, just way outlift Emma Lawson. That's no fun, you know, if there's no kind of um, closeness in the test. But then when I thought about it, it could be a cool display of what a teen athlete is capable of doing and then what, uh, you know, one of the top women in the world is capable of doing. So maybe we are seeing a heavy lift and they just wanting to show off the capability of a young teen athlete as well. But nevertheless, it'll be exciting. And we also now know who the announcer will be for 22.2. And that is none other than my buddy, Matt Fraser. So that's exciting. Matt's going to be um, announcing the workout tomorrow morning. And then Saxon and Justin, that's going to be a great matchup. I feel like they're very similar athletes. Um, and I feel like Saxon's made some huge jumps in his performance over the last kind of six months. So it's going to be cool to see how those two boys stack up as well. Awesome guys, have a great day, and I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you in the herd locker for twenty-two point two. Stay sexy, keep roaring love. See you soon. Mwah.